Hello. So I did it. I slept in. I did not get up early. My alarm went off at six, but I stayed in bed and went back to sleep till eight. And now I'm, David is spending the day with me. So I'm super excited about that. And he's going to go to all my meetings with me at the coffee shop in Goshen. Yay. So I'm at home trying to study. Got some reading materials, but look, look at this. See this one? Oh, what, what, what's happening right now? Yeah, she's just gonna happen to sit with me while I study. This dog, as if she's a little puppy. <laughs> she's so funny. Oh wait, I didn't do it. I'll try this again. I tried it a second ago. Dude and I are hanging out at the brewery today. It's awesome. Jason Cooper. Jason Cooper. Jason And if he misbehaves, his principal's right over there. So you better watch out. Yeah, you see that cute little guy over there? Because we're spending the day together. Right now, um, we we both, well, I did some studying. David watched things on his computer. We had a, two CCJ meetings. Now we're driving back home because La Fever Plumbing and Heating is at the house looking at the water heater. And I think later today, too, uh, Serenity's case manager is coming over to check in to see how the skills trainer is doing. Which um, seems fine right now. So they hang out every Monday and play Uno together and do crafts. So Serenity loves that. She also does crafts at her counseling on Fridays. So she gets to do art 24-7. It's great. She loves it. David, did you want to say anything to my vloggers? They can't see. He's trying to flip the camera off of it. He doesn't even know the steering wheel's in the way. You should see his smile. It's so pretty. David, show me your smile. Weird. I don't know. This is starting on Napanee Street and they're building another Dollar General. So there's one on the corner of Napanee and Franklin, which I'm coming up to. Just, um, what is that? I don't know if that's west. No, west, east, north, south. South of the train tracks. They're building another Dollar General, like a block away from this one. And then you go a mile up the road, north up the road, and there's another, oh, it's Family Dollars here. So Dollar General, and two miles on the same street, there's another Dollar General. And then I think another three miles down this same, because the Snappany Street turns into Bristol Street, there's another one. Like, there's three of them. I think the, um, they're like cockroaches. Like, they're just all over the place. They're nasty. No one really needs them. They're invasive. It's gross. No, thank you, Dollar Generals. We don't fucking need you everywhere. Can they put real businesses, like some privately owned businesses, some boutiques, some restaurants, some real stores? Yeah, that'd be nice. And some of these nasty ass Dollar Generals everywhere. Uh, man, I, uh, I feel, I feel, I feel weight feel a little tired. Um, so at night, a story, I have a story. I'm on the phone with my friend, catching up, and get home. Dave and I get home. Serenity's there, my mom's there. Um, Serenity and David just start bickering with each other. Um, my, the, the people came out to fix the water here today, the kitchen sink, like water's not coming out of it right. And uh, we don't know why, of course. Um, my mom is like talking, just talking. I'm on the phone, the kids are fighting. Like I'm fixing some food. Like it's just chaos though. It's just chaos everywhere. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. And so like I need to probably call the company from the water heater, figure out what's going on. You know, it's one of those like just ugh, everything's so get the food we sit at the table there's drama I'm not hungry I don't want to eat this they're on their phones they're not allowed to be on their phones it's like and they're picking with each other the two kids just and my mom's gone to work um there's back and forth and like it's seven o'clock neither of them have school tomorrow and I say 
After dinner, you can just both go to bed. Explosion, explosion drama. Because they want to stay up late because they don't have school. And I'm like, mm -mm, you two have been fighting, bickering for two, three days now. Like, I'm just, I can't do it. I'm done with it. You can go to your rooms, no screens. You can sit in there and read. Like, I don't want to. And I'm done. Done. So they both, like, eat their food all angry. It's really, um, I don't know. She doesn't have table manners. And so she, like, stands or, like, half sits on her chair. She's laying laying on the table with her elbows like so she's a mess david's like kind of eating because usually you know, like one misbehaves the other one acts starts acting right because neither of them want to be in trouble and i'm just eating like this has got to give like we, uh, these two cannot keep like picking at each other and i can't be around this kind of chaos like ugh, nobody this is not healthy or fun or good and so my sister started this new thing with her little girls. And so I took her idea and I adapted it. So they're both pissed at me, both these two little ones. I say, fine, here's the deal. You have two options. You finish eating, you go to bed for the night. You're done. That's it. The end. Option two. Together, you clean the whole kitchen and the dining room. Clean up all this. Then you play a game together. I don't care what game. And you have to figure it out together. And if I don't hear any bickering, any fighting, any meanness out of either of you, you can have the screens back and stay up till 1030. Anything, anything negative out of either one of you, and we're back to plan one, straight to bed, no screens. They look at each other, their faces light up and smile, and they high five. Like, let's go team and they say things like you want to do it let's do it so now they're like totally happy and pumped to work together and clean and play a game and get to stay up late the end the end of the problem they're both like happy and peaceful and getting along that was the end of the drama <sighs> you don't even know like i'm like ah. like i could hear angels singing in the background and cheers and claps Woo! Yeah, oh my goodness. So I have to run an errand real quick, but uh, <laughs> I get so exhausted with the like the negative energy. It just wears me out. I can't. I hate it. Uh, it like it like grinds it. I told David uh, when he was this sorry. I told David when he's a little boy. He was like de just demanding, demanding, demanding. And so at one point I explained to him like like as a person, I have so much energy. It's like a cup of water. And certain things refill my energy. And other things, like I dump out my water. I dump my water into my energy into. And it's good. It's good to do both. But if all I'm doing is dumping my water out, I run out of energy. I run out of water. And when I don't have any water, I'm grumpy. I'm less patient. I don't handle things right. I'm not, like, tired. And so I need to refill my water. I can't just keep dumping it out. And so that was this great lesson for him because he was like, I don't know, maybe three or four when I explained this to him. And from that point on, when he would start to just like wear on me with his like demanding whatever crap, I'd be like, David, I need to get some water. I need water in my cup. And to do that, like I need you to leave me alone or I need to be able to read for 30 minutes or I need to go take a bath or like whatever stuff I need to do for my own like self-care and replenishing Basically, like, dude, just chill out and give me a few minutes to relax and be with myself. And he was really good at doing that. So it's like, like all of that, um, that bickering, it just like <laughs> dumps my water out. Bam! All at once. Like, it's gone. Which is good because I need, I need my water so that I can calmly and happily navigate the bickering. So I need less of that so that I can handle it. That's a pretty car. Just a little Mercedes. So, yay. Oh, that feels, that feels like a little win. Still tired, but it's a win.